Michael Grady. And Mike, let's talk about that the number of fans returning and how the Nets are actually facilitating this to get fans back in the stands. Yeah, they're keeping safety top of mind, Bob. For everybody that's in the building, they had to take a PCR test before coming to Barclays Center, proved that it was negative 72 hours before. And then coming into the building, they needed to take a rapid test. Face masks are required unless you're sitting in one of the designated areas where you can consume food or beverage. There are nearly 500 touchless hand sanitizer stations around the building. They've also enhanced the air quality and filtration system and the cleaning procedures. They have plexiglass dividers as well they have gone above and beyond health and safety guidelines now again 300 isn't a huge number but for the players and for coach Nash they are welcoming and excited about the atmosphere with Brooklyn fans in the building it's nice you know it's a nice change we obviously been playing in, a, in empty stadiums for the most part at least at home and so to have some fans and a little bit of life and energy will be nice and and hopefully we can safely incorporate more fans as we go here now, James Harden told me weeks ago that playing in an empty building, you know, these games feel like a, a practice, just a little bit more intense. And he said just the other night, he's excited about seeing fans in the building, even though it's not going to be a packed house, not going to be a huge number. He's going to be excited to play in front of Brooklyn Nets fans. One of the things that drew him to Brooklyn, not only playing with Kevin and Kyrie, but also playing in front of this fan base. So he's excited about it. And we know what DeAndre Jordan said the other day, Bob. It's lit. He kept it as simple as that. Really looking forward to it. We